Hey guys, I hope you all are having a great day today. Today is going to be basically like what we're seeing with current events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. So let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, so the first thing we have, which, you know, I'm sure you all have seen this, but we have the agreement between Israel and the UAE. Again, there have been many Bible scholars that have been making videos about this. This is not the agreement talked about in Daniel 9.27. And that agreement is basically the agreement that the Antichrist will sign with Israel, and that will be like a seven. That will be for the seven-year tribulation. And this is not this at all. This is, in fact, this is actually leading us to the Gog and Magog war. Actually, with this agreement that we're seeing. So just remember that this has nothing to do with tribulation, but it does, in fact, push us closer to the you know Ezekiel war talked about in thirty in chapters thirty-eight and thirty-nine. Okay, the next thing I have is, according to NewYorkPost.com, a tropical storm and hurricane could hit U.S. at the same time next week. And this is actually the first time this would happen since the Great Depression. You know, I expect, as there's other you know, Bible scholars that believe this too, because Jesus talks about in Matthew 24 that you will see, you know, famines and earthquakes in various places. And, you know, it will be like birth pains. It will like start off slow and build up. And, you know, we've seen that with earthquakes. And honestly, we've seen that with a bunch of different things like volcanic eruptions. They're doing the same thing. They're at an all-time high right now. And, you know, we're just going to keep seeing this, seeing like natural disasters keep building up until Jesus comes. And, you know, right now we're just seeing, you know, like events that we haven't seen for a long time or, you know, events happening at a rate that we have never seen before. So we really do live in exciting times, guys, and we need to be, you know, just keep looking up because, you know, Jesus is coming soon. Okay, and then according to the sun.co.uk, Pakistanian minister threatens India with nuclear attack in the bloody last war and says only Muslims will survive. You know, again, we're just seeing tensions around the world just build up, you know, at a rate like we have never seen before. And then this is another thing. According to startribune.com, cash in your change to loosen the coin shortage and help someone who relies on cash to get by. Again, what this article is basically saying is that, you know, you need to turn your coins in to help people. And what we have been seeing is, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but companies have actually been offering to buy coins from people. And here's the deal with this whole cash and, you know, coin, basically, you know, thing we're seeing is they're saying that there's a coin shortage because, you know, Basically, a lot of companies are saying that they don't want to, they don't want people to give them coins because they think it's, you know, dirty because it will spread COVID-19 and all this stuff. And the whole reason for this is because they're trying to push a one world currency and they want the one world like currency to be, they want like a cashless society. And this is just setting the stage for it. I mean, what better way to have COVID-19 going on right now? And, you know, people are, you know, want to be as safe as they can. And so they're saying, well, a great way you can be safe is not to use cash. Just swipe your debit card and, you know, credit card. And that's exactly what we're seeing. And so companies, basically what they're doing when they're, when they're offering to buy coins is they are saying, you know, we'll buy your coins from you. And then in turn, we'll give you back like a rewards card. And that will, you know, you can use the card at their place to shop. And they just want to get as much coins and everything out of circulation so they can push this, you know, basically push the online currency because that's where they want it to go. Because if you have an online currency, you can track everything. And basically the Antichrist, he needs like an online currency system so he can have control over everything, see all the transactions that are happening. And so we're seeing the foundations be, to, be laid exactly for that. And so the other thing I have is according to SputnikNews.com, COVID-19 pandemic may fuel international famine of biblical propor proportions, UN official warns. And so, you know, right now we're seeing more and more stuff in the headlines talking about famines and stuff like this. This is actually very critical to what is coming ahead in the tribulation. And for the fact that when the third seal breaks, John sees a black horse and a rider on it, and he has scales in his hand. And that represents se uh, severe famines everywhere. And so, you know, they're already talking about famine of biblical proportions. And that is going to come during the tribulation. And so, once again, we are seeing this be laid to for the foundation for the tribulation. 
And so when we start seeing all this stuff in the news, you know, we just need to keep, you know, like I said earlier, we need to look up because our redemption is drawing near and we need to wake up as many people as we can about what the Bible says and, you know, and the things we're seeing in the world currently because the Bible has predicted all these things. And so we need to be spreading the gospel to everyone that we can. And then also going through that article, so David Beasley, who is the head of the UN World Food Program, he said, we are not talking about people going to bed hungry. We are talking about extreme conditions, emergency status, people literally marching to the brink of starvation. If we don't get food to people, people will die. Again, these are the type of basically, you know, famines that will happen during tribulation. Okay, and then according to sanfrancisco.cbslocal.com, Facebook wants to help build AI that can remember everything for you. I mean, if you guys haven't been seeing anything with AI and everything that's happening with that, it is honestly crazy, everything that we are seeing. AI is getting at, you know, to a level where it's, it's going to make humans not really humans anymore. Because, I mean... You're, there's already talks about us humans, you have Elon Musk with the Neuralink, and that's going to take us, you know, past human, and you're going to be like a subhuman. And it's just, that's why I believe that the end has to come soon, because technology is going to get to a place where God never intended it to go, and we're seeing this happen right in front of us. And so to go on with that, to go further down the article, so Mike... Uh, he is Mike Schofer. He is Facebook's chief technology officer. And this is what he said. He said, uh, hopes this work through early stage could eventually power products like a pair of smart glasses to help you remember everything from where you left your keys to whether you already added vanilla to a bowl of cookie dough. In short, he wants to perfect AI that can perfect your own memory. Again, this just goes to show they want AI to be thinking for us and so that we cannot make, you know, human decisions like we normally would. And again, this is all about control because if they can get people to get AI, then you're not going to have, they can put thoughts in your head and all these things. And so basically, it's kind of like they're a form of God because they are basically controlling your thoughts and all these things. And again, that's why I think the end has to come soon because God did not intend for any of these things to happen and he will put a stop to that and i you know i truly believe that we are coming close to those days when jesus will be coming back okay and then another thing to go on with ai according to breakingdefense.com ai slays top uh, f-16 pilot in darpa dogfight simulation so the military they did a test with their pilots and they had ais it was a virtual you know when they do like the virtual simulations and this is what this was and so it was actually the AIs went against, you know, Air Force, you know, pilots. And they, the AI, they absolutely destroyed every, you know, human pilot. And it just goes to show you AI is going, is going to go way above human capabilities. And we are seeing just that. Okay. And then according to Reuters.com, Russia and Turkey likely to sign S-400 missile deal next year. This is really important, and you need to be watching out for Russia, Turkey, and Iran. Those are the three main players that are in the war talked about in Ezekiel 38 and 39, and we are just seeing things ramp up between those nations. And again, this goes into play with it because Russia and Turkey are going to are likely to sign a deal, a missile deal, and it it just it's all playing into that, guys. We are literally seeing everything that the Bible talks about come to pass. And again, this is why we need to get the word out there to as many people as we can before it is too late. Okay, and then according to HinduStandTimes.com, Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu accepts compromise, avoids election. So he actually, he accepts compromise with the budget plan. And so Israel will not have another election. Benjamin Netanyahu will stay in office for now. And then according to Reuters.com, Iran official says sabotage caused fire at Netan's nuclear site. And so if you have not seen anything that has been happening in Iran, they had mo multiple nuclear factories that there were explosions all around and that destroyed the factories. 
And Iran has already said that if they find out who does it, they will attack them. And so basically reports are coming out saying that it was, you know, either just Israel or that it was Israel and the United States working together. And so, you know, Iran, like I said, they're one of the countries that attacks Israel, talked about in the war. And so we could easily, you know, see this playing into that war too. So just keep your eyes out for that. Okay, so the last thing I have is, according to theage.com, so this is in Victoria, Australia, and so you will not be able to be at any point more than five kilometers away from your home for the purposes of shopping for what you need. Only one person will be able to go shopping once per day, and they will need to, they will need to secure the goods and services that are what you need within a five kilometer radius. Again, I mean, we're seeing more and more freedoms being taken away from people. I mean, Australia, they're, they're also a free country, and we are seeing, you know, their freedoms being taken away from them. And the United States, you know, a lot of our freedoms, you know, they're being taken away from us too. Like, you can't even go to a store now without wearing a mask. And it's all about control, and that is exactly the type of system that must be put in place for the Antichrist. And people need to be conditioned for that control and we are seeing just that in the world we live in today. So I think we are really close as long as other many Bible scholars do, you know, to Jesus coming back in the tribulation starting. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any like recommendations for what you would like to see in our upcoming videos, please leave those suggestions down below in the comments and that will help us know what you guys want to see out of us. And as always, if you have any prayer requests, also leave those in the comment section below and we'll make sure to be praying with you and getting back with you on that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and until our next video, we'll see you later. See ya.